Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to our brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add wind into your Roblox game. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties, and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. Now that you've done that, you want to click back on Home, then you want to click on Editor, because we now want to go and insert our terrain. Now you don't have to do this if you already have terrain made, but because I don't have any terrain on this base plate, I'm going to have to go and make some. So I'm going to click edit and it has been quite a while since I've worked with terrain so please bear with me if I don't get it correct first time but there we go we've got it set on grass so that we will have the particles now if we click on here you'll be able to see on default we have a block of grass with some ground and mud and whatnot then our main grass texture and then these different spikes and particles of grass now if you're working on an old base plate you may have to adjust a couple things in the actual terrain section here there should be a section that says terrain actually in workspace you're able to adjust a couple things there i think if you're in an older version of roblox studio you may have to go and actually equip something here that that does the decoration like that so if you don't want the decoration you just untick it there but if you want the decoration you go to terrain and you click on decoration but now that we've got our grass sticking out of our actual texture we now want to go and add the wind so what we can do we want to head over to our view tab here then we want to click on wind direction and then this GUI will pop up here in the corner. Now we can move this GUI anywhere you would like. If you want to leave it in that corner you can also move this little square thing but it's not necessary because we have moved ours over here. So now you'll be able to see that okay not much is happening there's maybe just like a little slight little breeze happening there's not much going on. But as you guys can see when we go and move this the grass completely moves to the other direction. And over here you're able to see the arrow is pointing where the wind is coming from and then this little kind of like flag thing is often seen in airports because this basically is almost like a wind indicator basically telling them which way the wind is actually coming from because the wind will go into here and then the then this little flag thing will go pointing into the direction the wind is going so as you guys can see the wind is going this way the arrow is pointing this way now if we slow this down you'll be able to see okay there's not so much wind but there is still quite a bit of wind compared to if we had it at nothing so there you go you can see we've got a bit of a win there now you can go and adjust a couple more things here so we are currently adjusting this actual green ring right here but if we go click on our arrow up here now it will take us into a different angle pitch so what we can do we can now go and adjust this and this will basically kind of do a couple different adjustments you really just got to play around with it like personally I'm even still actually understanding of what it is doing so as you guys can see here our, our arrow is actually now currently pointing down basically meaning the wind is coming from out the sky or coming down into the into the ground which is impossible you know wind can only come east west north and south it can't come pushing down because that's gravity gravity pushes you down wind does not push you down so that's kind of impossible to, to have that because if you see because we've got it right pushing down nothing is actually happening where you can actually see this is being pushed down but nothing will change to the grass so you want to try keep it on a bit of an angle and you can see if we put it below actually the line and not to be straight on and into the negatives you're able to see that it also does go and calm down a bit again because wind is pushing from up there and it's not actually reaching this area and it's being blocked by this and blocked by the base plane so it's better if you actually have it above the negatives so anything above zero is actually ideal and then basically this it just allows you to have a more detailed sort of grass effect so if we go and leave this like this now now keep in mind you can go and change it to whatever you would like but if we go and click on the play up here and if we go click on play you'll be able to see when we join into the game the grass will still continue and we have actually spawned inside the, the mountain but okay <laughs> um, as you guys can see the grass is still being pushed to our right basically basically coming in from the west on our side over here being pushed over that way and it is a lot more active compared to when we had no wind 
Now keep in mind you can go and change this to whatever you want. I would really recommend having a little bit of a play around with it, changing up some things and seeing what would work best for your game. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. Now this video is quite self-explanatory and there shouldn't be too many questions to it, but if you're needing some help or you have a couple of questions, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server or private message me on Discord and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here if you did enjoy. I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.